about joining the Abraham Accords with Israel. Now, so far, we focus on specific components of the new Israel-Morocco relationship. But what about the bigger strategic geopolitical ramifications of this new alliance, especially as seen through the Moroccan perspective? Well, with us now is someone well qualified to address these points. Lassen Haddad, member of the Moroccan Senate. He's also an ex-minister of tourism and a political analyst and strategic studies expert. And he joins us from Rabat, Morocco. Lassen, thanks for joining us. Let me first ask you on this one-year anniversary, talk a little about what were the uh, factors, uh, the, the bigger, I would say, political or, or geopolitical factors that uh, encouraged Morocco to make this step finally and establish full relations with Israel. The first thing is the fact that Morocco has like very long-standing relations with the United States that date back to the 18th century. It was the first country to recognize the independence of the United States, so very strategic relation that they have. But also, I think Morocco with Israel has had like different kinds of relations, some of them official, some of them unofficial, but at the same time, there is a very strong Moroccan origin jewelry in, in living in Israel, but there are also like Moroccan Jews everywhere around the world who are very supportive of Morocco. And I think it's very, uh, I mean, like that was not something unnatural for Morocco and Israel to 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 bring back the, 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 the relations that, that existed like in the 90s. Uh, and I think the third one is that there, there is a lot that is happening in the region and there are realignments. And I think it's uh, for Morocco to have this kind of access between Israel, Morocco, and the United States for uh, the prosperity of all, to also like security of all, to also like do like common initiatives, especially in Africa and also in in the Mediterranean is very important. Well, let me let me but ask let me because that's a that's a forward. Let me ask you, Lassen, because that's a very forward-looking point. Now you're talking about the potential that this alliance will bring moving forward. So maybe go into a little more about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, like. Uh, you, you want to talk about the past or you want to talk about no, the future? No, now I want to talk I mean, like, about, about the future. What? Now I want to talk about Why the future. That? No, I, I think the future is important in the sense that I, uh, with with the Biden administration especially, but also uh, moving into containment of different other powers within within Africa, it's very normal that Morocco is an ally in that sense because Morocco has very very strategic and also very important relations in Africa, especially in West Africa. They date back to a long time ago. And I think Morocco is also influential in the Arab world and very strong ties with the Gulf countries, which have also uh, renewed relations with, uh, with with Israel. So there is this kind of new landscape that is, uh, that is appearing, and this landscape is for new uh, strate strategies or new geostrategic alliances and those in order to curb expansionist kind of ideologies, especially from Iran, but also other kind of powers that are trying to get into, into Africa. So if you look at it within that kind of picture, I think that Morocco would play a very important role and a Moroccan-Israeli kind of relation and partnership would be a very strong asset for the United States and for these kinds of forces that are moving to curb different kinds of its expansionist ideologies in Africa and other places. Right. And I think you've outlined the advantages sort of Israel gains with its alliance with Morocco, serving as a gateway, as you said, not only to North Africa, but Sub-Saharan Africa. What about Morocco? Where does it see its gain, its pluses from this new relations with Israel? What is it, what is it is it hoping for, expecting from Israel as part of that framework you described? I think Morocco is expecting. Well, I mean, the first gain that, that is that Morocco uh, is that Israel and the United States have recognized the sovereignty of Morocco over Western Sahara. Western Sahara is very key to Morocco's relations with with the world. So that's that's the importance number one. And I think that number two is a partnership with Israel. I mean, in relation to defense and and security and intelligence, and that's very important. We know how technologically advanced is Israel and Morocco is very well interested in that because Morocco spends and invests in securing its borders, but also in training its own army and being and defending itself. Morocco, there has been a war waged against Morocco 
from its uh, eastern neighbor, which is Algeria, using the Polisario Front, a separatist group. And I think Morocco is very much interested in really uh, keeping up its security, keeping up its, uh, its, its preparedness, I mean, like whatever comes, especially at a moment when the Polisario, which is the guerrilla uh, movement that is supported by Algeria, has suspended the ceasefire agreement of 1991. It has also rejected the Security Council uh, resolution. So that's very important. But I mean, I think the third one is that Morocco is also very much interested in 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 finding probably like some sort of long lasting peace in the Middle East, especially between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Morocco has very strong relations as well with the Palestinians. It hopes to use the Moroccan Jews that live within Israel, close to a million, also Moroccan Jews all over the world, the Jews of Morocco who still live in Morocco, but also its relations with the Palestinians, to put certain kinds of bridges in order to find the peace. And I think a lasting peace in the Middle East will be also a good thing for this kind of new vision, if you like, uh, new geostrategic vision of which Morocco would be good and, and Israel would be like a great Right, and we know Morocco did play that kind of role leading up to the uh, initial Oslo Accords and perhaps we will see it now even maybe more so now that relation, the uh, Israel and Morocco have moved to uh, full diplomatic relations. Lassen Haddad, thank you so much for joining us and enlightening us there from Morocco. Thank you.